Hiya, welcome back. Look at this. We're at beautiful Port Logan. It is absolutely stunning out here today. It was a last minute decision to come. I've raced across the country to beat the weather because there's a big southerly wind coming. But I'm really glad I did because it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? I've got a load of new gear to try today. I've got a new rod, new reel, new line, new lures, basically a whole new setup. I can't wait to tell you about that. But first of all, we're here for Pollock. So we're going to go around the corner, south from the harbour. We're going to tuck in next to the cliffs and see how we do. I'll see you in a bit. Right, here we go, first drop. Uh, I'm really excited about using these new lures. These are Berkeley Power Sardines. So they're, they're basically a weedless shad, but they've got that Berkeley Power Bait smell already in them. Uh, these are in 20 grams, the ones I've got on at the minute. Uh, I'm gonna get over there, I'll have a little cast about and see if we can pull up a pollock. There's loads of something breaking the surface in front of us. So I'm just gonna have a little cast over there I'm not going to count it all the way down to the bottom. I'm just going to cast over and retrieve through it. I'll give it about, I don't know, 10, 20, maybe 30 seconds and then just retrieve. There's gannets flying down in front of us to get whatever's over there. Look at it. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> something's up here. Something's grabbed a hold of the lure. Hopefully turn the camera around so the sun's out of your face as well and we'll be able to see what we're doing. This is the first fish and it is a Pollock get in. <laughs> I'm barely, barely touching the floor here with these. I'm just going to uh, turn you around to the side slightly. And when I say the floor, I mean I'm barely beneath the surface because there's a big old feeding frenzy going on. There's a load of fish chasing the sprats up in the water and there it is the first pollock of the trip I'll just uh, get that undone and then we'll get this fella out and away so there you go that's not a bad start is it hey eh? <laughs> let's get that back right so we've got the first fish on almost the first cast so I'm just going to keep doing what I was doing before which is not casting very not letting the lure go very deep because I could see loads of sprats and stuff being chased up to the surface. So I'm just going to let it sink maybe, I don't know, let's say five or six metres and then I'm going to start retrieving it. I'm going to struggle to keep the sun out of the lens today. I do apologise for that. I'm in. <laughs> Can't go wrong today. It doesn't feel big. Feels a bit mackerel if I'm being honest with you. Gosh, I can see for miles down there. It is, it's a mackerel. I can see it about 10 meters beneath us. Let's get him up. Oops. Get this hook out and we'll get him away. See you, pal. And he's off. I'm going to let this hit the bottom, then I'm going to go from there, right? I'm on the bottom. Get it off the bottom and uh, this is quite a high speed reel I've got on here. This is the poshest fixed spool reel I've ever owned. It's the pen slammer, getting hit straight away. It's a pen slammer. It's, uh, it's a sealed reel, so it's IPX6 this one. Oh, I'm in. Which um, means it's probably, I mean it's direct competition would probably be the Daiwa BG mag sealed kind of reels. Because the one thing about salt water is it's going to kill your fixed spool. That's <laughs> what it's going to do. So it's good to have a sealed reel because no matter how careful you are, you're always going to get water on it. What have we got? Tiny little codlin. Very high up in the water. Everything's high up in the water today, so far. Let's uh, get him unhooked, shall we? We can hear the gannets diving behind us. 
Come on, pal. There you are. He's off. See you later, buddy. Getting hit. I'm in. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> I think my drag might be a little bit loose. We can tighten that up. <laughs> what have we got? What have we got? I don't think it knows it's hooked yet. Oh, it feels all right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That looks good, doesn't it? Like a bend like that, don't we? Let's get this up and have a look. What have we got? Oh, he's staying quite deep. Oh, beauty. It's an absolute beauty. It's only just realized it's hooked. <laughs> get in. Oh, hey. Gorgeous, this thing. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. What an absolute beauty. Goodness me. He's not quite ready yet. I'll get him up. See if I can get me. Uh... All right. Get in. Look at that. <laughs> I'm chuffed to bits with that. Oh my word, let me just uh, make sure that the lens isn't in the sun there. Now this is what we've been looking for, isn't it, eh? I'll just uh, get him up and give you a look. Wow, up, 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 easy, 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 nice and steady. Right, there we go, right. <laughs> what an absolute beauty. Look at the belly on him, man. It's absolutely gorgeous, that lad. Hey, he put up a canny scrap, didn't he? There's a load of weight to him. Well, there he is. That's what we came for. <laughs> I'm over the moon with that. See you, pal. <laughs> Graceful as ever. <laughs> Get in. Right. We'll have another one of those, please. So I've put the drogue out to slow this drift down because it was... Uh, it's getting a little crazy because I've got a slight breeze as well going with the tide. So it was making it a little bit tricky. Um, when my lure was hitting the bottom, I was going too fast towards it and I couldn't really get any kind of action in it. So I'm slowing myself down a little bit. I've cast out this first one, but from now on I might actually just fish directly underneath the kayak. We'll see how we do anyway. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> Get in. I don't know what we've got here. It feels like a pollock. I hope, anyway. Let's get it up and have a look at it. What have we got? Yes, another pollock. <laughs> Get in. Look at that. He's a beaut, isn't he? Gosh, he wanted this, didn't he? Right, where are you? It's kind of around about. There. There we go. And it's out. Lovely dark colour, aren't they, this time of year? See you, pal. And he's away. Oh, I'm in. Oh, this is all right. Bloody hell. <laughs> it's not keen on coming towards me, this. Oh, I'm catching up with it a little bit. What have we got? That felt nice, didn't it? That was a nice first run against the tide there. Let's get it up and see what it is. I think it'll probably have another one once it gets a bit closer to the kayak. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow, not a monster. But, uh, well, it's a nice pollock. I'm not going to say anything other than that because it's uh, certainly a beauty. I'm going to have to uh, get the hook out. Let's uh, 
see if I can get it turned around so you can see it in this uh, sun. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, you know what, so I'm just going to hold it right up in front of the camera and hopefully that'll make it exposed for that rather than the sun in the background. There you go, look at that. What an absolute beauty, eh? Chuffed with that. See you, pal. And he's away. So, I'm not going to put the drogue out this time because that wind's dropped right off. So, hopefully you can see us now because I haven't got the sun in the lens. And I'm going to chuck this over there and get one another Pollock. Well, that's the plan anyway. I'm enjoying myself today. This wind is due to pick up at lunchtime and I think it will. But as I say, my plan is to go and tuck in behind the cliff over there. Uh, on the opposite side of this bay to the south and I'll get a bit of protection from that southerly wind you see but for now let's just keep catching Pollock over here eh? Oh I'm in! Oh it's off! Damn it! Damn it! That felt quite nice and all that I'll check... Oh I'm in again! It came back for another go! <laughs> Oh, and then I lost it again. What's going on? And I got it again. What's this? Right, let's have a look. Let's get this up and see what it is. I mean, I've got an awful feeling it might be a load of mackerel, and that's why I'm... Oh, no, it's Pollock for sure. <laughs> and it's a nice one. He just didn't know he was hooked there. Hey, he came up and he had about four or five goes, that lad, or he was part of a shoal. And they all took it in turns. But anyway, another Pollock. Hey, we've had a few out today, haven't we? Look at that. Oh, right, don't look at that. I'm going to uh, get back down there and have another go. This lure has lasted all day so far. I mean, you know, I use the tribute minnows quite a lot because they're cheap. But in terms of money spent... This lure is as good as new and it's had loads of fish on it. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> Properly smacked as there he did. Let's get it up and have a look at it. Oh, this is great fun, isn't it? Where this tide rips around this point, that's where all these pollock are. Get in. Get in. And they're not a bad size either, you know. Gosh. He wanted that, didn't he? Right, I've got my braid wrapped around my neck. That's not a good idea. Let's get this lad out. Right, where's the... Uh Where's the hook point? Let's have a look. If you just uh, hold your horses, mate, and give us a chance, we'll get you away. Where is it? I can't quite see it. Oh, there it is. And we're out. There he is, another nice lad, eh? See you later, pal. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> yes, get in. <laughs> First cast over here. I wonder what we've got. And it's a Pollock by the looks of it. Yes. <laughs> get in. Oh, well, I'm glad I made the trip now. Not a monster, but... Uh, definitely pleased to see him. Oh, we'll get down there. We'll get ourselves another one of those, I think. Gonna put the heavier lure on because uh, I'm in pretty deep water here and I'm uh, not doing myself any favours with this 20 grammer. Whoops. Am I gonna stick a metal on? Yeah, why not? Why not? We might lose it, but uh, we'll give it a go. We're, we're drifting quite fast, so it's not ideal for a metal, but uh, if I've got a 40 grammer in there, I'll give it a whiz. Yeah, I have. 40 gram metal, right, wonder how long this will last. <laughs> Let's get over there anyway. 
Oh, he's in. <laughs> hey. I have a feeling by the juddery nature of this that it's a mackerel. <laughs> what on earth is it doing? Can you see it? Zug, 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 zug. What a little drip. What? Or have I got something foul hooked here? I'm not quite sure what's going on. We'll get it up. I think I foul hooked a mackerel. And I was right. I foul hooked a mackerel right in the tail. Oh, I didn't even hook it, man. I wrapped around it. Bloody hell. There you go, mate. Yeah, better not have put a knot in the... Oh, no, I've caught one. Caught one on the other end of it, and I didn't want to do that. Eek! Got my finger stuck in it. There we go. Damn it. <laughs> it's a... Carry on, isn't it? That must have been inches underneath the kayak, that. Ow! Got the spiky bits in the butt, if you're not careful, you know, mackerel. Oh, hey, man, how are we? I'm not exactly covering myself in glory here, am I? Right, I'm going to head back to the other headland uh, and we'll fish a few more drifts down that cliff next to the harbour. Um, shouldn't take as long to get over there. I'll see you in a little bit. Right, this is just a daft idea. It might not come to anything, but I'm in the middle of all the flotsam and jetsam. There's just loads of it here. So I often think to myself, there's nothing shown on the bottom, but there must surely be other stuff gathering down on the bottom here if all the flotsam and jetsam's on the top. So anyway, I'm gonna get down there. I'm gonna have a little mooch about with this metal I'll only do it for a couple of minutes, and if I get nothing, I get nothing. But I haven't lost anything either, you know what I mean? Which is why you're on a daft angle, because uh, I haven't bothered to set up properly, because I'm just satisfying my curiosity, I think, more than anything else. So I was just thinking, you know, if all the weed and the muck and the rubbish all ends up in this spot, this is obviously where the tides and the currents are converging. And, you know, convergent currents is always a great place to find fish. <laughs> and I found a one. I've no idea what it is. But we'll get it up and have a look at it anyway. I mean, I don't think it's a leviathan of any type. It's, uh, it's just a little chap, but... It's nice to catch it. If it's still on, indeed. Well, would you look at that? It is... A little haddock. Look at that. What an absolute beaut. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm glad I came and got that. Isn't that gorgeous? Whoop. Right, here we are back at the point. Let's get down there and see how we do it. Eh? Tide is still drifting quite fast. We'll, uh, we'll get down there, see how we do. I'm in 18 metres of water. Straight in. <laughs> get in. Get in. <laughs> Whee, there it is, that little uh, gurnard we were looking for. I've got it, look at that. I wanted to catch one of these, didn't I? They've got some spikes on them, so you've got to be careful. There you go. Look at him. What a little beauty. Hey, we've had a few fish out today, haven't we? Hey, let's get him back. See you, pal. And he's off. Well, there you go. I'm chuffed about that. We've had haddock, pollock, mackerel, gurnard. I'm in. I was just thinking it's getting a bit hard work. If we don't start catching fish, I might head in, but we've caught a fish, so <laughs> oh, he's taking a bit of line as well. Mind you, I'm uh, fair tooling along with the tide. 
they all feel like monsters when it's like this. <laughs> well, it feels all right though. Oh, I think this is a Pollock okay. A Pollock for sure, because he's had a few dives, hasn't he? Where's he gone under the kayak? I still can't see it. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. Not too bad that, I'll tell you. Oh, 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 get in. Get in. Look at that fella. Oh, that's another nice one, isn't it? Right, let's just get this hook out. We'll put this rod away and then I'll give you a look at him. Look. Oop. Definitely don't want to be hooking me dry suit. Look at that. It's a nice lad. I've pricked myself in the finger there. And he's away. It's uh, slackened off a little bit, that wind. It had picked up quite badly, but it seems to have dropped again. It was forecast to come up pretty strong about two o'clock, then drop. It didn't really come up as strong as it was going to. It seems to have dropped a little bit again. We'll see. I'm in no hurry. I don't need to be home for anything. Get in. <laughs> Especially not when I'm catching fish, eh? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Get in. Another Pollock. Brilliant. Look at that. Right, we'll, uh, we'll get that out. Give you a quick look. And we'll get him away. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? That wasn't messing about. <laughs> Another one. Get in. Doesn't know it's been hooked yet, this one. Not quite sure. What is it? Oh, it's foul hooked. And it's a cuckoo ras. Let's get it unhooked. Should be absolutely fine because it's only just in the soft bit there at the back. I'll try and get this out. There we are. It's out. But look at that. Another species today. That is beautiful, isn't it? Look at it. How gorgeous is that thing? Right. We won't mess around. We'll get him back down there. See you later, buddy. And he's off. Oh, get in. <laughs> Get up. What have we got? I think it's another Pollock, you know. We'll get it up and have a look anyway. The last fish of the trip. Yes. And it is another Pollock. I might have one more cast then, if that's the case. I was... Uh, I was just about to call it a day there. But I think I might have one last cast. See you, pal. Right, that's it. I'm done. I'm heading in. Hey, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself today. We had a load of different fish out. We've had some lovely pollock and loads of different species. We've had wrasse. Uh, we've had haddock. We've had mackerel. We've had pollock. We've had codlin. We've had um, whatever. We had a haddock as well, didn't we? It's been awesome. I've really enjoyed myself. Hey, do us a favour, would you? And subscribe to the channel. I know I bang on about it, but it does make a big difference to that old YouTube algorithm, you know, how many different people YouTube chooses to show your videos to, that sort of thing. If you've enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up because that helps as well. And uh, if you want to say hello, ask us a question, suggest a venue, anything at all, do that in the comments down below because I always reply. And don't forget, you've still got your 10% discount at Galaxy Kayaks UK. That's OTD10 at the checkout for 10% off everything. I'll catch you next time.